Hey there, I've been running this four bay grow light test for the last five months now. For some reason I haven't shared it with you, um, so I thought I'd give you a quick update. It's not a scientific comparison of the grow light's performance or anything like that. It's more a long term test to run these small grow lights separately and to see um, what the long term effects are on performance and to run a few cycles of uh, these chilies and um, see what the uh, plant development and yield is like. So nothing conclusive out of this, just a little indication mainly for myself uh, to see how these guys do over time. So let's have a look. Over here we got the biggest out of the four grow lights, it's the HLG QB288V2 running at 130 watts. We got the controversial addition of the acrylic sheet here, reducing the power by about um, three or four percent. So not everybody agrees with that uh, addition, but I think it's worthwhile just to protect the, the LEDs from damage. Running pretty cool. It's got the heatsink on the back here. I think it's the slate heatsink they call it. Um, it's Comfortable. It's hot, but it's comfortable to touch. So it's about forty-five degrees or thereabouts, forty, forty-five degrees. So yeah, running nice. Uh, it's got a great spread, obviously, and I think it's three and a half k that light. So uh, perfect spectrum for flowering. The plants loving it. Biggest plant of of all of them, I think, just by touch. Maybe, maybe not in height or. <clears throat> Not looking much taller than the others, but it's got lots of dense growth here and lots of branching, load of flowers, and you might be able to see there. It's got little chilies developing. It's the only, uh, it's the one with the most development of fruit. So yeah, doing good. Next one is the smallest light we have in here, the Grow Mare Puck. It's got the red enhanced. You can see that the little pink tinge. Uh, Sixty-five watts. Running very very cool, barely warm at all. I'd say that's no more than 30 35 degrees, even touching just the face of it. The LEDs running very cool, so yeah, that pin fin heatsink doing a great job. <clears throat> plant development is good, it's a decent sized plant, it's not as dense as the one under the HLG, and there's much less flowering. Uh, but that's to be expected. It's, it's half the water to this guy, so given its size, it's doing extremely well. Lovely little light. It's the puck. We got the Mygo 100 up here. And this is 107 watts. And <clears throat> second out of the four for power output. You can kind of see. Again, it's 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 not much taller than the others, but it's it's very dense and much more branching and quite thick and populated inside. Loads and loads of flowers. Uh, starting to see some chilies as well. So uh, yeah, it's doing good that one. Next, we got the Mars Hydro Cob, hundred and seven watts as well, uh, about the same as the Mygo one hundred. This is, again, it's quite a nice size plant, so it's, um, it's good, it's got dense growth. There is definitely flowers. No fruit now at this stage, but uh, yeah, it's doing nice too. It's got the pink and the blue LEDs up here as well in the spectrum. I'm not sure that it's doing anything for the, the plant development overall, but uh, yeah, they're all doing very well. As I said, not really a scientific comparison, but we'll be checking in every once in a while over the year or so that I'm going to run these. Um, we'll check in after harvest on these to see how they do. And uh, I'll be running tests just to see is there any depreciation of um, power output over time. That would be interesting. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the update. Anything else you want to see? Anything else you want to know about? Please let me know in the comments. Take care.